Hi guys, I'm Claire the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I want to talk about protecting your plant against the common pests that attack fiddly figs. Now there's a variety of insects and pests that will attack a fiddly fig, especially the new growth on your plant. And so you're going to want to look out for any of these pests or any of the symptoms of these pests so that you can act quickly, prevent an infestation, and make sure your plant is as healthy as possible. So I think probably the most common pest that I see is spider mites, and these can really attack your plant in a hurry, and they can spread from other plants to your fiddly figs and then back again. So you're gonna wanna make sure to correct this problem in a hurry. And so spider mites actually make tiny, tiny holes in your plant. And so if you look at the back side of your plant, you may see little brown dots. And I wanna make sure that you know the difference between brown dots from spider mites and red dots, which are actually called edema, that we often see on new growth. So when a fiddly fig puts out a new leaf, oftentimes edema can happen, which is basically when the plant has too much water in the cells and the cells burst. This creates these tiny, tiny red dots on the new growth only. Spider mites are a little bit different and the dots are the same and they're brown in color, but they can happen throughout the plant, not just on new growth. And they're actually little holes where an edema will never be a hole. It will just be a solid red spot that will eventually go away. Spider mites are brown spots that turn into holes in your plant. So it's really important to get rid of spider mites in a hurry. They're very, very bad news. And so if you think that you might have spider mites, check out the links below for the products that you can use to get rid of them. The next thing I get questions about all the time is fungus gnats or soil gnats. And these aren't really problematic to the healthier plant. They're just annoying, kind of gross looking. And so what these are, these tiny, tiny little gnats that buzz around your soil. The reason they happen is basically because your top soil is staying too moist and they're breathing in the soil. So there's a few different things you can do. You can spray with hydrogen peroxide. You could put a layer of bark or something on the top of your soil to kind of prevent these gnats from getting into your soil. But the best thing to do is really to let the top inch of soil dry out between waterings and never let it stay so wet that the gnats are able to breed and reproduce in the soil. So if you're watering your fiddly fig properly and letting it dry out between waterings, you're probably not gonna have this problem. But if you do have this problem, what you could do is just remove the top inch of soil and let it dry out and then put new fresh soil on top. There's two other types of pests that I see once in a while and that's mealybugs and scale. And these look a little bit different and the symptoms they cause are a little bit different, but I would say both are on the more rare side so I won't go into them too much but the bottom line is that for every insect pest that you're having the treatment is really the same the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to remove all of the pests themselves so physically remove them the easiest way to do that I believe is just to take your plant outside and pressure wash it with a hose you don't want to use an actual pressure washer but just blast it off especially the undersides of the leaves with a hose and make sure that all of the bugs and insects are gone from your plant the next thing you're gonna want to do is poison these little pests with a spray. So you can use neem oil, which is a very, very common agricultural spray. It's very safe, it's effective. It does oh. smell kind of bad, so you may wanna do this outside. I will link to my favorite neem oils below. If you use neem oil and your infestation is not going away and you're still worried about it, I would kind of bump up the protection to something a little bit stronger. I like using a product called Jack's Dead Bug Spray. This is more of a chemical product, and so you're not gonna to wanna to use it around babies or anything like that, but it's something that you can spray and it'll actually has chemicals in it that will kill the insects. So once your plant is kind of cleaned off and you've dealt with the insect infestation, I recommend maintenance with our leaf armor spray. This is a fantastic product. It's all natural. It's actually made from aloe and shellfish, but it is a natural bug deterrent. It protects against fungus, bacteria, and any insect infestations. It also helps your plant to retain more of its moisture so your fiddly fig stays healthier and doesn't release as much moisture. And it gives you kind of like a beautiful, clean look on your plant. So if you're interested in that product, I will link below. I recommend using it once a month just to protect your plant against future infestation. Now I wanna give you one more bonus tip and that is to watch out for snails. So if you have a plant that's outdoors or if you bring your plants from outdoors to indoors. Fiddly figs actually can get eaten in a hurry by snails, and this happened to one of my outdoor plants, but it basically got completely destroyed by snails. So that's something you're gonna wanna look out for if you do have your plants outdoors. So the best defense against bug infestations is keeping your plant really, really healthy. So make sure that you're giving it proper care, that you're not overwatering, that you're feeding it properly, and it's getting enough sunlight. This can make it really resilient against insects in the first place. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.